Red police say evidence discovered in a Hartford park was the key to finding the man they believe killed an aspiring actress. Des Jesse Blodgett was strangled in her bed last summer. WSN 12 News Ben Hutchison reports from West Bend on what was in the garbage that pointed police to her ex-boyfriend. I noted that there was a significant red mark um, running across her neck. There was uh, more reddening at the right side of her neck. Lead investigator and Hartford detective Richard Thickens fit. told jurors he found strangulation marks on Jesse Blodgett's body. Did you locate any ropes in the room? No. Did you locate any ropes near uh, Jesse's body? No, I did not. Detective Thickens said it looked like someone had cleaned up the scene because police didn't find anything in the house that could have made the marks on Blodgett's neck. In the search for suspects, he interviewed several people, including Daniel Bartell. He indicated that he had last physically seen her um, the prior Monday or Tuesday of that week, some six or seven days earlier. But Bartelt did mention he came here to Woodlawn Union Park in Hartford the day Jesse was found dead. It's about three miles from her parents' house. Investigators wanted to look through the garbage for evidence. They found a cereal box with paper towels and rope in it. That's not all. More to the bottom left of the picture is um, it's a fragment of um, silver tape. Surveillance video shows Bartelt visited the park. The silver tape is the same kind police found under Blodgett's bed. The prosecution is trying to link it to Bartell. In Hartford, Ben Hutchison, WISN 12 News. Testimony is scheduled to continue tomorrow morning.